So this time around I decided to go with this uh, two inch tube. I'm usually using a two inch by four inch or three inch by three inch, but this time around I decided to go with a two inch by two inch square, but the wall is very thick, just under quarter inch thick, so I'm gonna see uh, if this is a little more versatile and everything I can do with it while still maintaining all the integrity and strength for whatever I wanna throw at it. We will see how it works out. I am waiting on the round tubing now. I can buy these heavy-duty wheels. These are meant for carts that are actually used for pushing around really heavy loads, like uh, these flatbed carts that, pu that haul lumber and steel and everything else. And then I took my pulleys that I have here, and I turned it into this. This way, it'll allow me to mount this up at the top on the cross member. Okay, I've got this frame built, oh, this other basic frame, and I just cut these legs all to a size and even them out and shaved them up, and now I'm going to make another one of those, basically. It's the progress so far. I've got both of the lower pulleys on and one of the upper pulleys mounted. I'm going to do that same thing over on this side. This way, the uh, each tower can actually function independently without the cross member. But then uh, once I separate them, there'll be a cross member, of course, attaching them. I've got the cross member up there fitted in place. All I've got to do is drill the two holes on each side. Here is welded to this main piece and it'll go through this one with pins. So two on each side. All right, so I think the solution I have for these tubes it's the least labor intensive and actually will probably work the best. Straight through here, on down, and then into the bottom. And it cannot go any lower. And the bottom of the the bottom of the square tubing keeps it from dropping any lower. So I don't need to do anything that prevents it from dropping because the square tubing will do that. Now as the weights slide up it, there's a chance that something might torque or twist or grab a little bit. And what will prevent the tube from coming back up out of the top here is that I've simply drilled a hole completely through with my drill press and I can put a cotter pin in there or something like that and that will prevent it from lifting out. Alright, i got quite a bit of stuff done. I, uh, I got these uprights painted. I've got uh, that, that cross member out there painted. And I think these stacks are about ready to go downstairs. I need to clean them up and uh, do a little tidying up here and there, but other than that, I'm ready to take them downstairs and set them up. I do now have cable crossover. Let's see if it works. I actually, I really have not tested it yet. Let's try this one. 